gosh, Love's beak is infected! Hey CVPs, welcome to my channel! It's a beautiful day to be alive. It's really rainy and cold right now. I have my awesome Angelic Free Fly merch on. Merch, merch, go check out angelicparents.com. Oh my gosh, Love's beak is infected! Oh my gosh, I'm hearing so much concerns about this whole subject with Love's beak. How's Love's beak? So today I'm gonna address the problem. What's going on with Love's beak? So let's get Love out and let's go to the vet. And look who's here. It's Love and I have him on his harness. And today we're going to the vet to check on his beak. It's healing really nicely. You can see here's the scar on the other side. Like it's growing out. But we just want to like check on it. And yeah, he's fine. He's acting fine. He's happy. And let's go to the vet. So let's go. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any episode. And go check out Angelic Parrots to get your awesome merch. Love you guys. A few moments later. I have love in Hope's travel crate. And you can see he's not really used to it. I know. We're going to the vet. We're going to the vet. So I don't want him to get car sick, so let's cover him and then he can just uh, focus on himself and not on the drive because birds get car sick really, really fast. Hope in the beginning was really car sick when we went out flying, so I don't want Love to get car sick and looking out. I want him just to like relax and close his eyes. So that's the reason why we're going to cover him and have him all cozy and happy. One hour later. Okay guys, so we just got to the hospital. I don't know like how open they are with filming. I just want to be respectful. So I'm going to not film in the hospital unless they allow me to. So um, let's get love out. <laughs> and let's go to the pet hospital and bird clinic so that um, they can see love. So if they're okay, I'm going to switch it back on. I just want to be really respectful. So. That's where I'm coming from. No, where's love? Hi, how are you doing? Are you ready to go to the vet? Yeah, do you want to come out? Let's go. So I have him here. And I'll secure him. Come on, baby. Oh, baby's shaking. Hi. Yeah, you did good in the car. Let's go and say hi. It's a little rainy, cloudy day. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> this lady just told me it's a beautiful bird. Yes, he is gorgeous. My gorgeous love. Okay. Pet and Bird Hospital. Hello. Uh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. This is love. Yes, this is love. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Love, how's love doing? How's love doing? Yeah. Yeah, we're set. You just get this in the system okay. and then oh I just need you to fill out this in sorry. Oh this one too? Yeah, yeah this the second page is Love's information. There's a lot of questions on here, but this oh, is mainly I didn't about saw cats that. and dogs. So you just fill out which hands it Okay. And then the third page is our hospital policy that you can read inside that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can absolutely make a picture of Love. Hi Love. <laughs> He's gorgeous. Hi Love. Come come closer to me. Closer? Hi, love. Yeah, the cat yeah. Is happy Love's a good boy. He's a only good boy. six months old. Oh, he's just a baby. Just a oh. oh, for God, cats and dogs. Look. Look at all this dog food. So, Love is doing extremely well. He's even like shaking his butt tail. He's so cute. My baby, so cute. Yeah, and as you can see, guys, his beak is healing really nicely right here, you see, and here's the little skull on the other side, so he's doing fine. I know, love. You're doing fine. It's like my little cuddle book. Mm -hmm. 
So bird stuff is right here. You say it's bird hospital. Usually it's always cats and dogs, you know, but you have like a bird hospital. Yeah, most veterinarians around here only see cats and dogs. So yeah. we, but we do have an avian vet. Dr. Schufer's a really good avian vet. So cool. you can bring love anytime down here. Right. It's quite a drive. <laughs> I know. Pasadena's kind of far. Yeah. Yeah, he even said that. <laughs> yeah, it's a long drive. <laughs> but the thing is, like, if I find a good avian vet, we'll uh -huh. stick around. Because most avian vets are like far away or they're not yeah. really good, you know? Yeah, unfortunately, and there's, there's not many. There's not many. And they are under now exotics, right? Mostly? Yes. Not yes. really bird, bird hospital, right. avian vet, it's like, like it's everything. Be, yeah, it's becoming like a specialty. Yeah. <laughs> Love is happy. I just gave him a little mat mat. So he's like chewing on it. Hi, love. You chewing on your mat mat? Okay, so basically you're just giving us permission to handle your bird, okay? okay. So read this and sign there for me. Okay. One of ours, a big deal. Um, it's a two nine six. It can lead to unexpected collapses even death. Let me give you two. Oh, okay, no problem. Let me give you a couple and then you can see which one fits, okay? Oh, we just lost the magnet. <laughs> Right there. You work it so hard. <laughs> you want the nut? You want the nut, love? God. Like, he act normal and he was totally fine. Like, okay. he didn't show any pain. He doesn't look too bad, yeah. No. And then, uh, how does his stool look? It looks normal to you? All normal, yes. Okay. You have poo poo? Love, poo poo. My poo poo. No, poo poo. Your baby buddy poo poo. Good boy. There you go. <laughs> love just did poo poo. Good boy, love. That's not okay. All, not all at once. No but. problem. We'll just save it in case the doctor does decide to run it. Okay. Oops, I'm going to change this wallet now. Let me get a bag for it, actually. Yeah, but you look pretty healthy. Not a lot of birds here? Yeah, we do actually see quite a lot of birds. Yeah, yeah ever saw a hyacinth here? Um, I haven't, no. Oh, oh. don't do that. <laughs> These banana chips. Typically, we get a little bit more smaller birds. We get smaller a couple birds? macaws oh, cool. every once in a while, but not too many. Oh. Not too many. So we are the first hyacinths? I think it's the first that I've seen at least. <laughs> been when I think some of the, the ones. And we see lots of blue and gold ones. Blue and, and gold. Yeah. The military macaws. Military, the little green ones. Yeah. So I just know like I think three people in LA who have a high scent. Everybody like I don't know. Do you wanna know? Thanks for cleaning. Oh, no worries. It's raining. Oh my gosh. So badly. Did it fit okay, Miss Meister? Did it fit okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. No worries. Thank you. Oh, you're fine. And it'll just be a few minutes. I'm waiting for rooms, okay? Okay. You have your little hiccups? <laughs> Maybe hiccups. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> little play. <laughs> he loves to play with my merch and I attach two little rings so he can like just peek and butt with it. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Such a cute little baby. He's such a playboy. I love him so much. My baby love. 
Birds are rare. <laughs> Birds are rare. <laughs> Never saw a dog before. <laughs> he just spit up. <laughs> He's not. That's a dog. Later. Can't get. I got a sample here for this bird in case they want to run one. Okay. Perch. Good boy, love. Go perch. Nice. How much is he? Twelve. Yeah, that's what I weighed him to. Actually, he gained ten. It was twelve forty-five last time I weighed him. Mm-hmm. Now he's like 12.55. That's good. Bring up loves poop. <laughs> so much poop in a bird. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so far so good. We are just waiting for the doctor to come in. So yeah, everything is good, right? Love is happy and he's happy. Wait, what do you want? Can you kiss me? I love you. Do you want to play with my merch? Yeah, play with my merch. Good. Good boy. Look at how beautiful my love is. I love, love. Yeah, this is, love is six months old. Six months, come. Yeah, and he had a little accident on his beak. Yes, I see. Yeah. But it looks like it healed okay. Yeah. Two of them, right? You got like this. The this is the there. under beak, yeah. and right there is the uh, front beak. Yeah. And he had a my other bird poke a hole in him. Yes, I see that. What's the other bird type? Also high sin, but uh, she's a rescue, so yeah. we got her um, two weeks in, and she was I don't know, she was aggressive, and I it was actually my fault. I put them together in a crate together yeah. to drive somewhere, and the first time I put them together in a crate, nothing happened. The yeah. second time when I took her out. There was the wound. I didn't even saw how it happened, sure. and sure. I was just really concerned. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't predict these things, so. No, it know. was an accident, you know. Yeah. And she she respects him, you know, but it's still she's an older bird and he's a baby, so. Yeah. So he's puffed up right now. Is this yeah. what he's doing at home as well? Yeah, he's puffed up and he is really. He's really strong. Yeah. He also like hangs down like a little monkey, like with his beak. So I don't think like anything is wrong with his beak, but I fill it with like clay mass because there was a hole. Yeah. And I just didn't want this hole to get infected. Was the hole full thickness? It will go all the way through. I have a. a You're not noticing that at home. No. No, it's nice and tight. Yeah. And what temperature do you keep the house at? It's always nice and warm for us. Yeah. Yeah. Like above seventy. Yeah. Okay. I have my heaters on. Good. All right. Do you think he's a little cold or? Well, sometimes, you know, when birds are, this time of year, they get sick when it's too cold in the house, you know? Mm. And if you see them puffed up, it tells you that something's wrong. Mm. Mostly they're too cold, but many times it's also meaning they're sick. Mm. And looking at the quality of his feathers, it's pretty good across the board. You're feeding him what kind of food now? He's still on baby foam along. Okay, at six yeah. months. That's kind of some clay, you say, or some medicine you put on It's food? clay. It's um, like natural mass for the for face, mm -hmm. facial mask clay yeah. I put in there. Well, it looks healthy, so I would just leave that as a mask, you know, because this itself is not going to heal itself. This is going to grow out. Uh -huh. It's going to take months before that gets to the end of the beak. Okay. Okay. In other words, the only tissue on the beak that grows is from the base here. 
and we're lucky, didn't go quite into the base. Now it's possible as this grows, this area may be a little damaged and we may end up with some weakness, but he still seems to have a lot of strength and integrity in the beak. So I What don't about think the other side? Yeah, same, same thing. thing. I think we're okay. He didn't get into the germinal epithelium here. Uh -huh. So this is solid. It's not. Um, is it like normal that like this one is growing out like up? Um, it's not so much that it's growing up. There may have been a little damage here. This is growing faster than this. Right. You know, That's what I so noticed. we may have to do some modifications of that as it grows out. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're a pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'll just take one. All right, baby. Good boy. It's all right, love. Right. He's freaking friends, so he's been on his second free flight already. Uh -huh. Fly him outside. Yeah. And he looped and came back. Okay. How did you make sure he's coming back? Oh, I'm a free flight trainer. I okay. fly my parrots all the time. Did he just eat this morning? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Crossed a little full. Hey guys, so <laughs> it's raining. I had to rush to the car because I didn't want love to get wet. But he's back there. And yeah, everything is great. Little love looks fantastic. He looks really good and there's nothing going on with him. This whole hole will be growing out in probably six months or so and it's healing really nicely. The doctor says I did a good job so everything is good. Also notice guys this vet when he was toweling love he didn't take love and go in the other room. I like that. I am so stressed with like vets that take my bird, towel them and go into another room and leaving me like helpless like and I hear they screaming so that that's what my last vet did and I don't like it um, this vet didn't do it at all so I like it I like that this vet was very calm and he um, knew exactly what was going on and he didn't just like towel my bird and took it to the other room out of my sight because I think that that's a problem I want to be present I want to be there I want to support my bird I want to talk to my bird you know and I have this whole thing with vets because Dino died because the vet like you know turned us down but also like vets stress birds and also here there was a scene I didn't record it but there was a scene after he was like toweled they were like holding him and I was talking to the doctor and love was in the towel trying to like break free and we were like just talking for two more minutes on and the doctor didn't look at at, at, at love and um, I just felt like love was stressing out so I asked them like hey can you please release if you don't need to look at him I don't want to stress him out can you release him from the towel and they did and then love was really happy to be free he doesn't need to be toweled and held down for like like hours and hours like you know so that was good I like this vet this vet was awesome he did a good job and he knew exactly what was going on so yeah overall this was a good visit <laughs> and a good example Experience. Usually my vet experiences are not too good and it's also very traumatic and dramatic dramatic and traumatic experiences and Hope hates the vet. He screams and yeah, so this was a good experience for us and it was also like for love a good experience and they were so nice, so friendly, so definitely we'll be coming back to this vet. I hope you liked this video. Give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button. I love you. Don't forget to watch tomorrow's episode and the shout out goes to this person and this person congratulations on your shout out and we love our cvps comment below let me know what you think you might be featured on one of my shout outs i love you i love my cvps you are fantastic you mean the world to me and i'll see you next time bye Mwah.